Hey guys, Coach Daniel Hammer at Tennis, and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you why you should be hammering the ball. And so by using this hammer, you're going to be able to gain more power, more consistency, hit the ball out in front, which is going to give you more leverage, and you're going to be able to hit the best forehands you've ever hit. And so it's been a while since we released our first video in which we brought the hammer method to you guys. And so what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and we're going to go a little bit deeper in this video, and I'm going to show you some things. We have a lot of good dialogue. We've had a lot of comments talking about that original video. We've had a lot of you guys with some great questions and we've talked deeper about using the hammer at method. And so we've got some other videos in which we've talked about some of the other concepts in the hammer at method and we've posted those on the channel as well. And so we're gonna go in this video and we're gonna talk to you about how using that hammer is gonna help you hit the ball. All right guys, so when I watch a lot of you out there playing, so one of the biggest problems that I see with people is they're using your arm in a weak way. So, so many of you are still swinging like this. And so your arm works strongest when it's, it's all stacked in a line, and that's why when we use this hammer, it really shows us this motion when we go down like this. So if you were to elbow something down, that's stronger than trying to push it out or in. If you push down with your hand like this, it's stronger than if you tried to push it out this way. And so a lot of you guys are still swinging kind of sideways, the swinging motion. It's creating a rotational point back here in your shoulder. So when you hit your forehand, because that rotational point is your shoulder, it's putting that center point the furthest point away from the ball. That's why you hit the ball late. And you feel like you're still hitting it out in front. You might be hitting it in front of your shoulder, but you're not hitting it out in front of your body. And so you're still getting jammed up, you're still hitting that ball late. When we work on using this hammer, it allows our brain to set this point out here with our elbow and we can drive down. So now when I take the hammer, I'm trying to hit the ball out into the court, it's like this. And so instead of swinging this way with my hand, it's kind of like I'm almost karate chopping the ball sideways you know, so think about it. If I was, you know, you see the people with the, the blocks that do the karate chop, they go down, bam, this way. If I try to smack it sideways, they can't break those blocks. So our arm works stronger in this downward motion. And so by using the hammer, I'm setting my arm in a very strong position. Now when I go sideways, I get into my hammer at stance, I try to basically kind of karate chop or hammer this ball right here. That's going to help me set it out in front. I've set my arm now in the strongest position that I can. You know, and so many of you, if you've used a hammer and done any construction, you know, if you try to hammer, maybe you can't get quite behind what you're trying to, you know, behind the nail, and you try to go like this, it's much harder than if you can get right over top of that nail and really drive it down. Or if it's up in the wall, you know, you can get up here like this. You can hit, hit it so much harder than if you're trying to, do something like that because your arm's in a weak position here. And now you're overexerting your forearm. You know? So like if you can't get your arm and your elbow stacked behind that nail, you're really weak. And so again, so many of you are away from the ball. You're out here like this. You're trying to hit the ball. You know, you're up high, you're down, you're all over the place. I'm trying to get my arm and my body behind this where I can come in. And now basically it's like I'm hitting that nail and then extend, release the hammer, release the momentum on through. So now I take my racket and I come through and boom, I hit the hammer right there on the nail and then extend through. Why? After playing for many years, we don't have, I don't have any problems with tennis elbow. By doing this, I'm not going, I'm not overusing my forearm, okay? And so by swinging sideways, a lot of you then you have to push, you go like this, and you're just overworking that forearm muscle because you're trying to hit the ball this way. You're not getting inside where you can hammer the ball. Also by doing that, when I hammer, I'm setting my elbow in front of my, in front of my belly button there. I'm setting my elbow in front of my spine which now helps, as I turn, set everything out in front. That's gonna help give me more leverage. So my elbow's in front, my handle, 
boom, then I deliver the hammer, I deliver the racket just the same way. So I come in here, boom. And so by doing that, I've got my arm now set in the strongest position that I can. All right, so now I'm gonna to try to drop the ball on the service line and the center line. That's where my nail is gonna be. I'm gonna set my elbow, get my hands out on the target line, drive this hammer into the ball. I'm gonna to try to hit it up over the net, but as long as it goes relatively straight, that's all I'm really looking for. I'm just looking to try to hit it out in front and then extend to my target. And so I'm gonna drop it and hit it. Again, I'm gonna work on striking the ball and extending out. Now notice when I extend out when I do this, I'm actually allowing the hammer to go slightly out to the right. Because as my body turns, that's gonna pull the hammer. So by extending out to the right, you can see the hammer is still out over the target line. If I swing across my body, I'm gonna pull the hammer off that line. So I wanna strike the ball and then extend to the right as I rotate. That's gonna keep that hammer along that line. That's gonna help hit this ball down the line. And so by doing that, what that's gonna allow me to do is feel how I'm driving that hammer and extending to my target, which is gonna help me hit that ball out in front. All right, now that I've worked on dropping the ball and using my hammer, I'm gonna take my racket and I'm gonna do the same thing. But again, I'm gonna get into my hammer stance. I'm gonna start with the racket out in line with the target line here. And as I rotate, I'm gonna strike the ball and I'm gonna extend out to the right, which as you can see from behind, is still in line over here with our target line. And so from our other videos, you guys know, this is what we call the racket plane. And so it's gonna help keep the racket out in the plane. So I'm gonna start here drop and hit. And so you can see the first shot went a little bit to the left. So what that means is I need to extend a little bit more out to the right. And so you'll start to learn how you can control that. If the ball goes too much to the right, then that means you need to turn a little bit more with your shoulders. If you pull it too much to the left, then you need to extend out more to the right. Work on that until you're able to hit that ball straight down the middle. All right, so if you've got a ball machine or if you've got a slinger, this is another really good way now that you can practice this. And so I'm gonna show you here how you can set up if you have a slinger, for instance, how to set it up. And so I've got it about three racket lengths from the net. It's right on the center line. You can see the speed and the feed intervals that I've set. And the elevation is gonna be at around 30 degrees. All right, so after you've worked with the hammer for a while, then go ahead and get your racket. You know, and guys, make sure when you're working with the hammer that you've got somewhere where you've got some room, so if the ball does go somewhere, you don't wanna get it on other people's courts. And so I'm gonna now take my hammer or my racket, and I'm gonna work on the same thing. I'm gonna get my right shoulder down on line. I'm gonna keep the racket out where I'm gonna hit the ball. I'm gonna hit, and then I'm gonna extend. And again, as I extend, it's out to the right relative to my body which that's gonna help hit the ball straight down the cones. Again, if I hit this shot and it goes off, say, to the left, it's because I didn't extend to the right enough. If I hit the ball out to the right too far, it's because I stopped turning. And so I wanna work on getting that perfect feeling of going out and rotating so I hit the ball straight down the middle of the cones. So after you've worked on using the hammer and then your racket, keep practicing until you feel better and you can hit more pace on the ball. And so at first we're just going to work on starting with the racket out over the target line and extending out. So again, this is just a small portion of our swing. It's kind of like learning how to hit a golf shot by just kind of working on your contact, kind of like chipping, getting that contact feel. This is not your full swing. This is just a small portion of it. And so by learning this very key concept of getting the racket in front, 
that's gonna help give you that maximum leverage. And so work on this until you feel more comfortable with it. One of the other questions that we have a lot of times, guys, is what grip? And so I'm using a semi-western grip. Um, some people will use a little bit more eastern, but I'm right here about a semi-western. That's really where I can get my hand out here. And then that's gonna help close the face just slightly. So I wanna make sure I'm still able to get inside, hammer that ball, extend out, work on that guys. You're gonna be getting a lot more effortless power. You're gonna get a lot less wear and tear on your arm and you're gonna be on your way to hammering the ball. So I've been Coach Daniel, thanks for watching guys. Be sure to subscribe to our channel. Give this video a like guys. Thanks for watching.